got some Yeezy boots from here for 29 bucks. Is that real? Yo, we got some really good pickups today. Um, it looks like someone donated their entire Yeezy collection. I'm buying the entire Off-White the 10 collection with just a $20 bill. Well, not exactly. I'm buying and selling and trading things that I pick up with this $20 bill in order to buy or trade for the entire Off-White the 10 collection, but by now you guys know what I mean. In today's video, we find an entire Yeezy collection, we pick up a bunch of great sneakers to flip. It's gonna be a crazy one. Make sure to stay tuned. But first, I wanna give a huge thank you to The Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. And no, unfortunately, I'm not talking about The Farmer's actual dog. I thought that might be the case initially, but he is not making his own food. But it's really not that far-fetched because Ben the Dog is actually the brains behind this operation, and he's the one that writes all the scripts for all these videos. All right, I'll get back to work. Jeez. So if you have a problem with me using the phrase, it is what it is, and honestly all the time, then that's why it's his fault. He's the one who writes them. And in order to keep this gravy train going, I've gotta feed him the best food possible so he's as healthy as he possibly can be. Wow, Ben, you're really doing me like that? He wrote the script, I didn't. I didn't mean any of that. And that's where the farmer's dog comes in. For the last couple months, I've been feeding Ben the farmer's dog and he's been absolutely loving it. He's been thriving and frustratingly, he's been driving me even harder than he usually drives me on this channel. So if you see more videos, because I'm feeding him the best dog food out there. The farmer's dog is made with real human grade food that's vet developed. Out of all of the dog foods that I've tried over the years, the farmer's dog is the only dog food that genuinely seems like not only a healthy meal, but something that's actually appetizing for me. I'm not gonna eat it, but I could if I wanted to. Plus, it's incredibly nutritious for your dog. In fact, it exceeds industry standards. And they keep it simple. They don't add any crazy additives with long words that you can't pronounce. They literally just include meat and veggies that are human grade. Plus, it's made fresh and delivered right to your door. You don't have to go to the store anymore to pick up your dog food. You can have it delivered to you. Not only that, the farmer's dog tailors your dog's meals specifically for them. In fact, the packaging comes in the perfect portion for your dog with their name on it, which I think is amazing. It's wild. They've literally thought of everything. In fact, you can even pick the meats that your dog eats before you get them in the mail to make sure that you're not getting anything that your dog's allergic to or anything that your dog just doesn't like. Even though my dog is nine years old, he's gotten this renewed vigor, which is wonderful because I got to spend more time with him, but it's it's a, a bummer because now I'm pumping out crazy amounts of videos and TikToks. And I'm pretty sure he uses ChatGPT for some of these scripts because like some of them are insane. Like I say the same thing five different times. Dog people all across the country have ordered millions of meals of farmer's dog and I can personally attest that my dog absolutely loves it and he's genuinely healthier because of it. Get 50% off your first box of fresh healthy food by using my link in the top of the description below. Plus you get free shipping. And once again, huge thank you to the farmer's dog for sponsoring today's video. So we start off the week with a bank total of $2.99. I know, it's crazy low. This was not supposed to happen, but the good news is we did have some sales over the weekend, so we're not completely out of money. Now the sales that we had were of course the pairs of sneakers that we picked up from SneakerCon in the last episode, and the first pair that we sold were the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royals. I grabbed this pair for $50 and ended up selling it for $99.55, which is incredible. Which means that after fees, we were left with $72.53 to add back into the bank, and a profit of $22.53. So as good as that sale was, unfortunately the next sale was not as good. And that of course was because I bought the next two pairs that we sold for way over what they were worth. Maybe not over what they were worth, but more than I should have bought them for. So the first pair of these two shoes were the Air Jordan 1 Letterman's, which we grabbed for $70. Well, technically we grabbed both pairs that I'm gonna talk about for $190, but I wanted to split them up in a way that made it seem like I didn't lose too much money on both pairs of sneakers. So we're gonna say that this pair I bought for $70 and uh, I sold it for $65. The problem is, is that after fees, I was left with $55.21 to add back into the bank, which means I lost $14.79. The second pair from this awful buy were the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues. I bought this pair for $120, or again, like I said, I like to split it that way, so at least it didn't seem like I lost too much money. But the good news was I sold this pair for $135, which is not bad. But again, it's the fees that got me. I was left with $121.44 to add back into the bank, which means I had a profit of $1.44. The good news is though, even though we lost some money, at least we sold the shoes quickly and the money was no longer tied up. And of course we did make some profit with that first pair of Air Jordan 1s. So after all of this, we were left with a new bank total of no longer $2.99. Instead, we had $252.17 to play with, which I feel like is pretty solid. Now make sure to stay tuned and subscribe because at the end of this video, I'm gonna be buying the next pair of off-white sneakers from the 10 collection. So we're getting there. Here we got some Air Max Special Forces in really good condition for how much? 45. Probably about what they go for because these don't really move like they used to, but cool find. Definitely dope. In really good condition too. Okay, so we got some Air Max 85s here for 40. Easy pickup. So these drop like 
the middle of last year. They're the brand new Big Bubble Air Maxes, or at least the, uh, I guess the retros of the Big Bubbles in this black and red colorway. It's one of the only colorways that got the Big Bubble treatment other than the, uh, than the red OGs. So huge find for 40 bucks. Is there any problems with them? No, I don't see any. Got some Tims up here. For 65 Timberland Composite Toe. That's actually an expensive pair. Let me check these guys out online really quick. All right, so maybe that's exactly right. So I'm gonna leave these guys. Next to them, we've got Ignite. Okay, we're good on those. Over here, we got some Hyperfuses for 30. Some Air Max 95s for 45 and all red. What are these? Oh, Donovan Mitchell. Issue fours, maybe? Issue threes? I don't know which issue they're on, but probably a, a lever. So over here, we got some Air Jordan 1 Lows. Not like a great colorway or like a super exclusive one, but used pairs are going for less, so I'm gonna leave these. But next to them though, we got some Ultra Boost. Pretty clean for 32. Let me check these guys out. Ultra Boost Trails, it looks like. But unfortunately, only new pairs are moving, so I'm gonna leave them. We got some ISPAs here for how much? 35. Bit of a slower mover, and they're going for like maybe 10 to 15 over this, so probably not worth the risk. We do have these Vapor Max Pluses right here. I'm sure in decent condition. How much they want for them? They're a huge size though. Size 13, 46 bucks. That seems about right, so I'm gonna leave these guys. Over here we got some posits. Let's go for 60, oof, that might be a lot. So these fly posits are dope. They dropped in 2019. Problem is this one's another risk because I'm only seeing nine pairs of used fly posits listed and they're not moving that quickly and they're going for between 60, which is what these are, to like 109 with best offer. So I don't know what the best offer was. Could have been 60, could have been 70, I have no idea, but just not worth it for that price. If these were 30, easy cop, but unfortunately they're not. So I'm seeing this pair of Dunks, but I just picked this up from the outlet for like this exact price, maybe two or three months ago. So I know a used pair is probably not going for that. So I will leave them, although they're cool to see. 1906 RS? These look like they're in great condition. 48? This might be a pickup. This might be a pickup. That's crazy, because I literally was like, not gonna grab these at all. And I just happened to look up and these guys are there. I mean, not a lot of solds, but for the price that they're going for, I'm willing to take the risk. I feel like that's everything I need for today. Yo, we got some really good pickups today. That's awesome. So I know we've only hit up one thrift store at this point, but that pair of Air Maxes that we just grabbed the Buffalo Exchange turns out to be one of the best pickups that I've had in a very long time because literally the day that I listed it on eBay, it sold. So as you guys remember, I just bought this pair for $40 and I sold it on eBay for $152.11. And I'll be real, I probably could have sold it for more if I had realized it was gonna go for more, but I'm sure I could have listed it for like 160, 170 and it still would have sold. And after fees, we were left with an amazing $123.48, which translates to a profit of $83.48, which is incredible. If all my pickups could be like this, we'd have the whole 10 collection by now. So after just that one sale, we have a new bank total of $287.65, and we still have a pair of new balances to sell. I am, of course, gonna thrift in these because I've got the $20 sneaker collection to do, and uh, I gotta do it, no matter what I look like. So um, let's go to Goodwill. Got some Yeezys over here, but they're ripped. That's one problem. Yeah, that rip is a pretty big problem. Otherwise, I'd be interested, but I bet they're priced pretty high because they're Yeezys. Dang, you can't fix that rip either. Too bad. Probably why they got donated it though. Got some Yeezy boots right here for how much? 80, no, not worth it. Some Reebok, some Jordan 1s, some Kawhis, Jordan 12s, and an Xbox 360. Well, they even got Yeezy slides, but these are pretty worn, unfortunately. Dang. Okay, let's check the sneaker area. Let's see what we can find. Got some Nikes, some Hyper Dunks. Not seeing much. These guys almost look like the Adidas um, Spring Blades, but they're not. You've got <laughs> these, I don't know what these are. P? What's P stand for? Fat Farm, ooh. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> We've got some some, uh, some Team Jordans right here that are very worn down. And they're 20 bucks, so we're gonna leave those. Anything on these shelves worthwhile? If there is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. Sick nerf though, bro. Um, it looks like someone donated their entire Yeezy collection, which is crazy, unfortunately, None of it was worth it. The slides were beat. 
the uh, Yeezy 350s were torn and the Yeezy boots don't really go for anything. So for 80 bucks, not worth it, but still insane to see three pairs of Yeezys at the thrift store. That's something I never thought that I'd ever see. And we saw it today. Too bad I couldn't grab any of it because that would have been a really interesting uh, pickup. I'm actually wearing my Yeezy socks on foot today, which you can't really see. If you guys haven't checked out my full review of those shoes or my, uh, hopefully by, by now the video will be out, but the wearing these shoes for a week video, check them out. Links at the top of the screen. So this Plato's closet is definitely out of the way for me. It's like a 45 minute drive, but it is near one of the Nike outlets that I go to for my Nike outlet vlogs. And uh, I figured, why not check it out when I'm on the way? So last time we were here, we found, I think the Defiant ones, which we sold for a decent amount. So I'm really hopeful. All right, so the good news is these shelves are packed, which is amazing. It means there's hopefully something worth picking up here. Oh man, we got some of the Beyonce's. Size 10 for 30 bucks. That's crazy. Got some Nike Dunk High 85s. Look at that for how much. Ah, 70. Damn, that stinks, because these are fire. Well, they're not fire, I, they're Dunks. <laughs> they're Dunk 85s. And I think they would move quickly, but not for a price I'd have to sell them for to make any money. We do have some LeBrons over here, which I didn't see before. Oh, for 25, but look, the whole toe is completely worn off. Someone really bald in these. So that's probably no go, even for 25, just because you can't fix outsole. See, we got some Air Max 97s right here. If these are a good price, might be worth it. 30 bucks, not bad. I'm good on these, plus they're kind of cooked. So, plus there's dog hair in there. They're just gross all around. <laughs> Hold up, we got some 12s. Let's go, for how much? 40, oof. Yo, I thought that was a real person at first. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I don't know what to tell you. That was crazy. I really got shook for a second. Yo, I think these are a cop, 40 bucks. No major issues that I can see. Uh, no, yeah, they look good. I think I'm gonna grab them. These Air Max Pluses are kind of clean. Never seen these before. Size 11 for how much? 60, yeah, probably not worth it. But they look cool. Definitely cool, I'm definitely a fan of the Air Max Pluses at the moment. At least the Air Max Plus drifts. All right, so not bad. Didn't strike out this time, which is amazing. Uh, we did find this pair of Air Jordan 12s. I believe it's the winterized 12s. Now, the one side that they had on the shelf was definitely in slightly better condition. The lace locks or lace tips uh, are still there. On the other side of the pair, unfortunately, the lace tips are gone. Um, the shoe itself looks okay, though. There's a little bit of separation on the midsole. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, but for 40 bucks, I feel like it's worth it. I think I could probably get, I was originally thinking like 120. Now I'm thinking closer to like 80 or 90, but still 80 or 90 is doubling our money. So definitely happy with that. And uh, happy to finally pick up something in Plato's closet for the first time in like a month. <laughs> so sweet, man. I'm stoked on that. So this week's been going great. We've been selling a lot of sneakers. Momentum is amazing. And I wanted that to continue. So rather than waiting for a bunch of sneakers to sell on eBay because it was taking them a while, I decided to take them all over to whatnot and move them as quickly as possible. The first pair that I sold was the Air Jordan 12 Winter Eyes that we had just picked up from Plato's Closet for 48 bucks. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, I don't have any B-roll of this shoe because I literally bought the shoe the night before the Whatnot stream, did the Whatnot stream, and then shipped it off right after the Whatnot stream, and I forgot to film B-roll completely, so shout out to editor Andrew for throwing over images of the shoe. Somehow, I don't know if it's images from Plato's Closet or just a funny meme. I don't know. And unfortunately, not only did I not get B-roll of the shoe, I also didn't make a profit when I sold the shoe. So this pair of 12 sold for $46 and whatnot. So a $2 loss right off the bat. I probably should have thrown them up on eBay and just let them sit for a couple weeks, but I was hasty. And after fees, I was left with $41.27, which means this shoe actually gave me a loss of $6.73. So great pickup. Next up, we sold those women's Nike Vapor Maxes that we picked up last week at SneakerCon for $15. I ended up selling these shoes for $19, and after fees, we were left with $16.69 to add back into the bank, which means we had a profit of $1.69. But even with all that, there was some light at the end of the tunnel because I sold the New Balances that we had picked up from Buffalo Exchange at the beginning of this episode, and we sold them for a decent amount. So if you guys remember, I grabbed this pair for $48, and I ended up selling it on Whatnot for $70. Again, I think I might have been able to get a couple more dollars if I had listed it on eBay and waited, but I wasn't willing to wait. I'm trying to get as much money as possible as quickly as possible. And after fees, we were left with $63.09, which means we had a profit of $15.09. So after all of those sales, we had a new bank total of $368. $8.70. And honestly, that's probably enough to buy a pair of off-white sneakers, at least a used pair, but I wanted to test my luck and go thrifting. Some fly knits, some Air Forces, nothing crazy. 
from Air Jordan 1 little elevates. Ooh, Air Max Pluses that don't look real, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe it's just a different kind I don't know about. Got some New Balances, some 1906Rs for how much? 99, oof, that's almost a good price. So I got these breads sitting here, these flu games sitting here for a while. Such a clean shoe too, it's crazy. 29 bucks, is that real? Is that legit, $29? Uh, all right, <laughs> so yeah, it's going for like 100 bucks. I'm gonna grab these, $29, that's nuts. That doesn't seem real. I have seen these sitting here for a while though, so maybe that's why, but still, what? Got some Kyrie Weathermans. Got some Royal Twos. All right, grabbing these. Have to. All right, so obviously this entire situation seems almost unbelievable. Finding a pair of Air Jordan 11s for $29 doesn't make a lot of sense. So I get up to the register, and as I'm about to check out, the woman at the register says, do you want a 10% discount? And I'm like, why? And she's like, you just have to sign up for our email. So I ended up grabbing this crazy pair of Air Jordan 11s for $26.10. And you know, just general wear and tear. But honestly, I think I can get $70 to $80 for this pair of shoes, so the profit margin there potentially could be crazy. And I know I said I was gonna buy a pair of off-white sneakers for the collection at the end of this video, and I did just do that. But you guys are just gonna have to subscribe and turn on notifications to see what it is when it comes in. But that pretty much wraps up the entire episode for today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one.